Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to talk about charging the Surface Go. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can do it, and I'm going to explain how to do it and about how fast it charges. So we test the uh, USB-C to USB-A connect to the wall, as well as to the 1 amp uh, 5 volt port. We're going to test uh, the cheap $5 gas station uh, 1 amp 5 volt chargers, as well as this nicer one from Gearmo. It's a uh, quick charge 3.0, and the USB-C, uh, which is a 60 watt charger, uh, which is split between both ports. So you're going to get 60 watts total, not 60 watts from each port. So here you can see my Surface Book 2 charger. It has the extra USB port. So I have USB-A going to USB-C on the side port of the Surface Go. And let's see if I can tap here. I did it. You guys thought I couldn't do it. All right, so uh, you can see that the icon here shows that it's charging. Now, sometimes if you plug it into something and you're using it, it'll say plugged in discharging. And uh, what that means is that it is plugged in and it is discharging. Uh, and that's accurate, <laughs> it really is. So a lot of these uh, solutions, you plug it in here, you, you have to turn the uh, device off and hit that power button up here. And then when the screen is off and nothing is going on, it will charge even, even if this icon is not on. I've seen it charge. Um, it's just is really slow. I like think it might take 1% um, in 10 minutes uh, which, if you're it's overnight and you're still going to get, you know, you know uh, fully or pretty close to fully charged. Um, and yes, I think it actually probably does speed up a little bit during that process. I haven't tried uh, from almost dead to full on a uh, slow charger. Let's see, here you have the iPad Pro charger. And this charges quite a bit faster again. It seems to fluctuate between, this is a 12 watt charger. It seems to fluctuate in between 1% uh, for 10 minutes up to 1% in uh, one minute. With the built-in charger provided with the Surface Go, it was right about 1% per minute as well. This has been charging all my tests are 10 minute tests. All right, so here's kind of a scary test. Uh, by the way, the Surface Go magnetically attaches to the Surface Book. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, not very well, but it does attach to, <laughs> to the, the Surface Book. Okay, so this is slightly frightening, but I'm going to trust Microsoft. So that is charging, and we're going to see, of course, of 10 minutes, how much this goes up. All right, so this is actually a little bit surprising. It does charge faster. I kind of figured it would be uh, topped out, or capped out, and that there wouldn't be a benefit to using the Surface Book charger for the uh, Surface Go, but it does charge faster than the stock charger. So we got about, uh, was it 12% in 10 minutes? Oh, there you go, there's another one. So it was, it's actually pretty fast. And so you'll see here it says 31 minutes till fully charged and we are at 68%. So it's basically saying 1% per minute, but it does seem to be going faster than that. All right, so I did one more test here and this is with The screen turned off. We're at 80%. So I tried it with a Nintendo Switch uh, USB-C charger, and we went up about seven or eight percent. It's a little slower, about half the speed of the Surface Book 2 charger, and about one percent every minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, so not bad. All right, so we plugged it into the JBL. 
we were at 61% and we went down. It doesn't look like like this worked, uh, although I would be surprised if there wasn't some version of this that did work. So it went up 2% over 10 minutes using the USB-C to USB-A, and this is going to a generic charger that probably cost uh, 30 cents to make, but cost like four or five dollars at a gas station. So it will charge, but it's slow, and uh, I don't think it'll charge while it's uh, it has the screen going. It's just that the screen is black. USB-C triple cord, which is the uh, Apple lightning connector, micro USB, and USB-C plugged into the high-powered, you're not going to be able to see it, the high-powered, uh, high-wattage charging uh, charger, and we went from 81% to 84, or 85 in about 11 minutes. Dang! quite a bit better. So when it comes down to it, it seems like the best way to handle this is if you want the fastest charge and you want to be able to use the device while it's charging, you're going to want to go from type C to type C. The quick charge 3.0, something that's around 12 watts or higher, is going to charge your device faster while it's off, but you may see some drain while it's on. Uh, if you're trying to charge at the same time. If you go with a cheap charger, it will charge it. Uh, most of these I've tested will charge the device if the screen is off and you're not using it and it charges about 1% for 10 minutes. If you go uh, the QC3 route, it's about 2% uh, per uh, 10 minute charge. If you go with the type C, it ranges, but um, from about 1% per minute uh, up to about 1.2% per minute, which is a 10 minute charge, you're gonna get anywhere between nine and 13% increase depending on the, the wattage of this one. This is a 60 watt charger, which is more than the uh, Surface Go can uh, effectively use. However, I do notice that it is faster charging Type-C to Type-C than USB Type-A to Type-C. All right, so plugged into USB-A on the high power uh, car adapter. It worked for 10 minutes and there's been no drop in the power here. So it stayed steady at 86%. So when we plugged uh, USB-C, where are you? All right, USB-C directly into USB-C on the uh, higher power charger, 60 watt gear mode charger. Um, we went up 4% in about 4 minutes, and that was while using uh, Adobe Illustrator. So, huge difference between getting a USB-A to USB-C and USB-C to USB-C um, cable. Uh, of course, depends on where you're going to use it. But Alright, so we did 12 minutes, actually, of charging with the USB-C to USB-C, which is about 2% for 10 minutes. And then the Surface Book 2 charger, which is about 13% for 10 minutes. And we were at 58, so it's actually about 13 minutes now. This is about exactly the same as just with this. I don't know if there's some version of USB-C uh, connecting to the PC and this going at the same time that works, but uh, there's a notification that popped up that said, uh, that it won't charge uh, from both or something like that. Although it is going kind of fast. And I, I think it does block the power coming in from USB-C when that's set up. 
So if you get a chance, get the USB-C to USB-C. That's the same end on both sides, and it charges a lot faster than the standard USB to the USB-C cable. Uh, and go for the higher wattage charging block, because it does matter.